Now the official video for today at the Intel campus is actually going to be on the subject of Intel's SSD reliability, their manufacturing and testing processes, and you guys are going to want to check that out on my NCIXCOM channel. So that's youtube.com slash NCIXCOM for those of you who still haven't subscribed to both channels. It's totally worth it. The other one's really good too. This is just for fun. So Intel has, as you can see, basketball courts here on their campus. There's the building. You can't really see it, but there's an Intel logo at the top left. Not only do they have basketball courts, but they also have beach, volleyball, I don't know, courts, pits, whatever you want to call them. However, of the two sports, basketball is the one that I'm least terrible at. So, for our cool factor video today, we are going to be stress testing whether this Intel SSD can handle my poor basketball playing skills. So, okay, we're going to force it to watch. Well, I go at this here. And here we go. And up. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to take this Intel SSD because as you know, Intel SSDs, in fact, well, SSDs in general, are all about reliability. So while Intel has the lowest failure rates in the industry, in general, they are still more reliable than hard drives, especially in applications where they're going to be subjected to shock, such as in a laptop. So let's take this throw it inside a laptop of the actual Intel employee, the genuine one who is filming this episode, and find out if it still boots up. So here we are. We, it's a very simple operation to change the hard drive in this notebook. So we took our image drive, threw it in the notebook, it booted up quick fast as we've come to expect from this SSDs and the touchpad's not working because this particular Intel employee prefers to use the old-fashioned keyboard nipple thing going on you know move it around like that um, so here just to show that it is actually working we're just gonna open something how about oh how about getting started there we go so yes our SSD still works so the general message here, and this is going to be most of what I already say in the NCIX Tech Tips video, if you guys have already seen that, the general message is going to be Intel puts a phenomenal amount of effort and R&D into making sure that their SSDs are the most reliable in the industry. If that means uh, a product gets released on a different time schedule compared to their competitors, then so be it. So this was, uh, shoot, what series was this? Can you signal me like how many went after the five? Was it a one or a two? 520. Oh, it's a 520, thank you. So in this case, the 520 series SSD was actually significantly later to market compared to their competitors with Sandforce controllers. But because Intel insists on setting the bar for where they want the performance and the reliability and then forcing the product to meet it before they bring it to market, they ended up rewriting dramatic amounts of the firmware as well as making sure that they use only the highest quality of the NAND that they manufacture themselves. So thank you for checking out this little practical demonstration. I know it didn't really prove much, but a hard drive definitely would have died where the SSD didn't, so we at least proved that much. Thank you for checking out this video on Linus Tech Tips, and don't forget to subscribe.